Trucker Steve here. Let's talk alley docking. And what I do with my students, the first thing I do is we work on straight line backing. So once you do your straight line backing, you do it constantly four or five times. When you can get a straight line back four or five times in a row, pretty much you have the straight line backing. So let's ask your instructors, look, sir, can I pull out a little bit? Can I pull the tractor a little bit out to the left side of the lane and then work and try to back it in from an angle? Add that into it. So all you're doing is pulling 45 degree angle, learn how to back under your tractor and trailer and then back it in straight. Sometimes students can back up straight and as soon as you pull them out, they have all kinds of problems trying to back it back into the lane. But this is not a bad exercise. So you already you know how to straight line. Once you straight line, then you may be moving on to offset and things like that. But pull up and on your straight line, pull out, to the, out of the box as far as you can to the left, away from the alley, and then start backing it in. You're basically what you're doing is learning how to control the movement of the trailer. And you're learning how to read the side of the trailer to make your movements. You need to learn to be the master of that trailer. That trailer only goes where you let it go. So that's a good practice. So if you're in Maryland and you're doing a reverse offset, once again, move, add that into the into the skill set. You do your work first all set and say, sir, can I back, can I practice a little bit of alley docking or 90 degree, 45 degree angles? Back it back in from the top. Try not, you don't have to keep things so simple. Add a couple more exercise into your skill set. It's not, maybe not a part of your test, but students need to learn how to master and control the trailer. They need to look out there and see that trailer, the angle, the trailer's going in. You counter steer with the left and get the tractor under the trailer. Trying to keep the tractor and the trailer, the trailer close as possible to the left lane. Once you do that, then I move them on to alley docking. Once it has an idea, once I have my students have an idea of how to control the trailer, next step, alley docking. So alley docking, in most states, the trailer is not that far away from the alley. So all you need is a little, you start off with a setup, look at the tractor window, and you can see your landing leg, and also you have a little angle on the trailer. You get your wheel straight, and you just back up. Stop, maybe 10, 15 feet, stop, and determine, are you early, late, or on time? Visualize. You soon learn how to visualize and see imaginary line in there. Is the trailer coming into the box? You want it one or two yards off this cone. This cone represents maybe a tractor sitting on the side. If you late, you might hit a tractor or trailer on the opposite side. If the trailer is coming early, start coming into this cone, you want to turn the wheel to the left to get the trailer back online. And then slowly start bringing it in. Once you on this cone, you one yard off, it's time with the right to bring this trailer into the box. So with, with the right, not a lot, just watch the trailer. You give a little bit of right, then you got to know when to come back with the left to stop the movement because you don't want to keep this trailer coming to the left. So it's a little bit of right, and you see the trailer come in. When you want to stop it, you turn the wheel back to the left, and that will stop the movement. And that's what you need to learn. You need to learn how to control this trailer. There's a video on my playlist, Shelton, Advanced Back, and, and that's a pretty good video on controlling your trailer and checking the wheel where the wheels are in, in relationship to the front of the box. Once you do that several times, you will slowly learn how to back up a trailer. It takes practice. We can go inch by inch. 
yard by yard, 10 feet, nine feet. But yeah, take it easy. And eventually, I like my students homes to take it right on in the box. If the trailer's moving, it's so much easier to steer and control a uh, trailer that's moving very slowly instead of keep on stopping all the time. But on your test, as long as you get it in the box, that's what you need. And then you do a pull up and then get it back in the three foot box. If the trailer is on an angle like this, you're coming in, you don't want to be too far away, you don't want to be too far right, and you don't want to be too far away from this left line. If it's on an angle like this, okay, you're in good shape. What do you want to do? You're going to get straight and you're going to do your pull up. There's your pull up. And you are straight and you're going to pass your test. You're going to bring it right back into the box. You back it up. And now if you, you might have to get out of the truck and you're going to measure from this tire from or from the rear. I'll walk it off normal paces, walk it off how many steps it takes me to get to the center, the center of the three foot box. I'll come up here to my tire up here, to this tire, and I'll once again order order landing leg and I'll walk it off the same pace. That way I might know exactly how far to stop. Maybe just a cone right there. So I just back my tire right up to the cone or whatever mark that might be on the ground. And I have an idea how far to back it up and I'm in the box. And you use your get out and look wisely. This is one get out look you're gonna use. Maybe another get out and look will be when you're pretty close up here. Now, if, you, if you're here, I'm not sure if you really need to get out and look, because if that trailer is close to the left, to the left line and to the left cone, you're in good shape. There's no, it, if you go to a yard and watch tractor tears back up, as long as you're close to the left line, you're in good shape. You are safe and you're nowhere near the right lane and it might not be a wise to use to get out and look there. If you're going too far to the right, you might want to get out and look and there might, like just, I just moved it over a little bit. Yes, you might want to get out and see how close you are to the right line. You don't want encroachments, you don't want to go over that line. Your job is to learn how to recognize the movement of the trailer. I recommend that students go to a trucking terminal. There's a lot of trucking terminals where you can view it, view uh, professional drivers from the street. Professional drivers hardly ever turn the wheel. All they want to do is get close to the left line, do a pull up, and back it in. If you're close to this line, if you're close to this line, see we're right on the on the line, just pull up. That changes the angle of the trailer. And with a little bit of left. Now you're going to come back in. Now you come back with your right. So you've got to know and not go too far to the right. But it takes practice. You do this over and over and over again. But go to a trucking terminal. Watch professional truck drivers do alley dock and back it into the dock. See what they do. This would help you. And check out Shelton. Advance back in on my playlist. And I just put a video on. And I'll show you at a trucking terminal that I am driving the truck and I'm backing into the dock. And you can see what, what, it's fairly good what I'm trying to do. I'm asking myself, am I on time? So this, that video might help you. I'll try to stick it right on the end of this video and see if it's a help to you. Best of luck. You can do it. But take step by step. Add it in 45 degree angles on your, on your straight line. After you master the straight line, move it up out of the box a little bit and start challenging yourself. You only learn by practicing. Just keep on doing it. You challenge yourself, maybe a little more angle on it, as much as you can go, depending on the size of your yard at your school, and see if you can back it back into the alley when you're straight line alley. That's how you learn how to back up. You need to learn, and you need to learn to be the master. This tractor trail, this trail only goes where you let it go, and turn the wheel, Learn it. You can do it.